welcome to WizKids. WizKids is a quick recall academic competition for fourth and fifth grade students from area schools. My name is Dave Duda and I will be your moderator. Even though the teams are familiar with the rules, I would like to state that although WizKids is similar to Governor's Cup, it is a Hardin County Schools competition. Today's contestants are from GC Burkhead and Vine Grove Elementaries. Now let's meet the team members and coaches from GC Burkhead. Evan Kimberlin is a fifth grader at GC Burkhead Elementary School. He is the son of John and Sandra Kimberlin. He plays on the GCB basketball team at Flames U11 team. Also, Evan is a member of the GCB Beta Club and is a one and is a first year member of the academic team. Evan's favorite subject is history. In his spare time, he enjoys photography, sports, and gaming. In the future, he would like to play pro sports or become an engineer and may attend the University of Kentucky or Clemson University. Claire Nesbummer is a fifth grader at GCB Elementary School. She is the daughter of Dave and Jana Nussbaumer. At GCB, she is a member of the VEX Robotics Team, Beta Club, and, a, and Girl Scouts of America. Also, Claire is a part of Duke Tip Program and is a first year member of the academic team. Claire's favorite subject is science. In her spare time, she enjoys horseback riding, reading, and, and studying fossils. In the future, she wants to be a marine biologist. Then Craig is a fifth grader at GC Burkhead Elementary School. He is the son of Mark and Maria Craig at GCB. He participates in drum group, beta club, plays on the GCB basketball team, and is a second year member of the academic team. Ben's favorite subject is math. In his spare time, he enjoys playing video games, reading, and sports. In the future, he would like to attend the University of Louisville and become a professional soccer player. Brody Evans is a fourth grader at GC Burkhead Elementary School. He is the son of Lee and Carrie Evans. He plays on the Flames soccer team and is a second year member of academic team. Brody's favorite subjects are math and science. In his spare time, he enjoys soccer, reading, and basketball. In the future, he would like to become an, an anesthesiologist. Mrs. Elisa Nichols is a fourth grade teacher at GC Burkhead and has been coaching the academic team for eight years. She is a graduate of Western Kentucky University. Ms. Nichols is married to Scott and has five children, Kira, Annika, Austin, Patrick, and Mackenzie. Ms. Kim Thompson is a fourth grade teacher at GC Burkhead and has been coaching the academic team for eight years. She's a graduate of Western Kentucky University. Ms. Thompson is married to Mike and has two sons at Central Harden High School, Harrison and Max. We will now meet the team and coaches from Vine Grove. Thomas Logston is a fifth grader at Vine Grove Elementary School. He is the son of John and Ronnie Logston. Thomas enjoys math and baseball. When Thomas grows up, he wants to be a welder. Austin Elms is a fifth grader at Vine Grove Elementary School. This is his second year on the academic team. He is the son of Carol and Chris Elms. Austin enjoys skimming through textbooks and watching the History Channel. When Austin grows up, he wants to be a history teacher. Cyril Hayes is the fifth grader at Vine Grove Elementary School. This is his second year on the academic team. He is the son of Curtis Hayes and Tiffany Wilson. Cyr Cyril's favorite subject is math. He enjoys running cross country and track. When Cyril grows up, he wants to be an inventor. Aiden View is a fifth grader at Vine Grove Elementary School. He is the son of DJ and Regina View. Aiden's favorite subject is math. Aiden enjoys reading and playing basketball and bowling. When Aiden grows up, he wants to be an NBA basketball player. Miss Gum is in her 15, 13th year teaching. She has been at Vine Grove Elementary School for six years. This is her fourth year coaching the academic team. Miss Gum is married and has two children. She enjoys reading and crafting. Miss Dowdell is in her 12th year teaching at Vine Grove Elementary School. This is her third year coaching the academic team. Miss Dowdell has been married for 20 years and has two children. She enjoys shopping and reading. Coaches, you may return to your seats at this time. <coughs> Teams, are you ready? Contestants, remember you may interrupt the reading of a toss-up question by buzzing in. However, if your answer is incorrect, the question will be reread in its entirety for the opposing team. Teams may confer on bonus questions, but the team captain must give the response. Remember, the bounce-back bonus will be in effect. 
All questions are worth one point and each half is 10 minutes long. The first question is a toss up for either team. What is the lowest number which is never a factor of odd integers? GC Burkhead Evans. Zero. Incorrect. Vine Grove Elms. One. Incorrect. Two. Two. Toss up. What is a synonym for a cradle song? GC Burkhead Craig. Lullaby. Correct. Three. Bonus. What continent is directly south of Western Europe? Africa. Correct. Four. Tasa. What is the last word in this cliche? Where there's a will, there's a blank. GC Burkhead Nussbaumer. Way. Correct. Five. Bonus. What organ in the body has these main mechanical functions? Store swallowed food and liquid. Mix up the food, liquid, and digestive juice. Empty the mixture into the small intestine. Stomach. Correct. Six. Toss up. What is the term for the, for the text of the dialogue and stage directions for a play? Von Grove View. Script. Correct. Seven, bonus. The word one in this verse refers to bags of what? One for my master, one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives by the lane. Who? Correct. Eight, Tasa. The anthropologist was visiting what people when he wrote these words? We found ourselves in a cluster of dome-shaped edifices entirely constructed of snow, which, which admitted the light in most delicate hues of blue and green. G.C. Burkhead, Nest Bomber. In it, in it. Incorrect. <coughs> Von Grove, View. Inuit. Incorrect. Eskimos. Nine. Toss up. What is the total number of days in all of the months that consist of just 30 days? GC Burkhead Evans. 150. Incorrect. Von Grove View. 90. Incorrect. 120. 10. Toss up. Regarding magnets, what verb means the opposite of attract? Von Grove Elms. Repel. Correct. 11. Bonus. What? This is the fourth line of what song? For Purple Mountain's Majesties. No answer. Captain? No answer. America the Beautiful. 12. Toss up. What storm combines high winds, sub zero? Von Grove View. Tornado. Incorrect. I'll reread the question. What storm combine, combines high winds, sub zero temperatures, and blowing powdery snow? GC Burkhead Nest Bomber. Snowstorm. Incorrect. Blizzard. 13. Toss up. To the nearest whole number, how many months would it take cowboys to drive cattle the entire 900 miles of the Chisholm Trail if they averaged 15 miles per day? Time, two months. 14, toss up. What kind of creatures are Grogaman and Aslan? G.C. Burkhead, Nuss Bomber. Bacteria. Incorrect. Vine Grove, Elms. Fungus. Incorrect. Lions. 15, toss up. What continent is asymmetrically centered on the South Pole? Vine Grove, Hayes. Antarctica. Correct. 16, bonus. 
Origami requires what material invented in China? Paper. Correct. 17. Toss up. When is the sun directly above the North Pole? G.C. Burkhead, Nest Bomber. Summer. Incorrect. Von Grove, View. Winter. Incorrect. Never. 18. Toss up. What word completes these cliches? A heart of blank. Good as blank. Von Grove, Elms. Incorrect. I'll reread the question. What word completes these cliches? A heart of blank. Good as blank. Worth his weight in blank. G.C. Burkhead, Nest Bomber. Gold. Correct. 19 bonus. Divide six by two thirds. Time, Captain? One and a half. Incorrect, nine. Twenty, toss up. What, li what sea lies immediately south of Puerto Rico? Van Grove, view. Arctic? Incorrect. G.C. Burkhead, Evans. Pacific? Incorrect, Caribbean. Twenty-one, toss up. To the product of negative 11 and 6, add the sum of 241 and negative 25. Von Grove, view. Negative 143. Incorrect. Time, 150. 22, toss up. The northern border of North Carolina is formed by what state? G.C. Burkhead, Kimberlin. Virgi Virginia. Correct. 23, bonus. What creature in animal fare by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair? No answer. Captain? Cat. Incorrect. The big baboon. 24 toss up. What is a synonym for a snow slide? G.C. Burkhead Evans. Avalanche. Correct. 25 bonus. What is the only word found more than once in the names of the continents? America. Correct. 26, toss up, 14 minus 6.3 plus 2.739 equals what? Ten point time, 10.439, 27, toss up. What are the next five words in the song that begins with this? Mid pleasures and palaces, though we may roam, be it ever so humble. Time, there's no place like home. 28, toss up. What word should have completed this actual statement by a doctor? The patient's vision is 2020 in both ears. Von Grove, Elms. Eyes. Correct. 29, bonus. The hair shafts of what rodents have evolved into a coat of quills? Porcupine. Correct. 30, toss up. The Rio Grande borders upon or flows through Colorado, Texas, and what other state? 
Vine Grove, Elms. Arizona. Incorrect. G.C. Burkhead, Kimberlin. New Mexico. Correct. That is 30 questions. And at the end of the half, the score is G.C. Burkhead, 9, Vine Grove, 7. Welcome back to the second half of Whiz Kids between G.C. Burkhead and Vine Grove Elementaries. During the half, the following substitutions were made. Joining the team from G.C. Burkhead is Adeline Johnson, and from Vine Grove Elementary is Kaylee Trummer. Teams, let's begin the second half of today's competition with a toss-up question. What is the collective name for these creatures? Aedes mosquito, ladybird, crook... Vine Grove Elms. Instant. Correct. Two bonus. What did Wendy sew back onto Peter Pan? His shadow? Correct. Three, toss up. What art term means that a work is one of a kind, authentic, made by the artist? G.C. Burkhead, Nest Bomber. Unique. Incorrect. I will reread the question. What art term means that a work is one of a kind, authentic, made by the artist, and not a copy? Vine Grove View. Original. Correct. Four bonus. How many countries lie north of the U.S. in North America? Two. Incorrect, Captain. One. Hesitation. One. Five. Toss up. Divide two thirds by one ninth. Time, six. Six, toss up. What bony structures grow each year on the skulls of male animals such as the reindeer? G.C. Burkhead, nest bomber. Antlers. Correct. Seven, bonus. This is about what art form? At first, small pebbles were set in simple ornamental patterns. Then, about 400 B.C., artists began setting them in pictorial form. Mosaic. Correct. Eight, toss up. What is the name for a river-like mass of ice in high latitude and or mountainous areas? G.C. Burkhead, Nest Bomber. A glacier. Correct. Nine, bonus. What fraction with 100 as the denominator is equivalent to one-fifth? Incorrect. Captain? Twenty hundredths. Correct. Ten toss up. In the story of Pinocchio, what is represented by Jiminy Cricket? Vine Grove Hayes. The conscience? Correct. Eleven bonus. From the point of view of the audience, stage left indicates which indicates which side of the stage. Left. Incorrect, Captain. Hesitation. Right. Twelve. Toss up. Name the paired movable sense organs on the heads of lobsters, many insects, and G. C. Burkhead, nest bomber. Antenna. Correct. Thirteen. Bonus. If Hazel can brew up ten potions every weekday and thirty during each weekend, how many can she brew up in four weeks? Incorrect. Captain? 120. Incorrect. 320. 14. Toss up. The mathematicians of Babylon devised a system of counting based on the number 60, from which we get the number of degrees in a circle and the number of minutes in what time interval? Vine Grove Elms. Hour. Correct. 
15 bonus. What author created creatures like Sneetches, the Zax, and the Lorax? Dr. Seuss. Correct. 16, toss up. What verb means to assign parts to the actors in a play? J.C. Burkhead, Johnson. Casting. Correct. <laughs> 17, bonus. The paired thin shafts of wood with which Japanese, Koreans, Chinese, and other Asian people eat are called what? No answer. Chopsticks. Captain? Correct. 18, toss up. Roger has 443 fishing rods and 376 fishing reels. After rounding the number of each to the nearest 10, what is the sum of rods and reels? Vine Grove View. 820. Correct. 19 bonus. How many legs does a mongoose have? Two. Incorrect, Captain. Four. Correct. 20, toss up. This is a quote from what story? I don't care, said the rat doggedly. I'm not coming and that's flat. And, I'm go and I am going to stick to my old river and live in a hole in a boat as I've always done. And what's more, Mole's going to stick with me and do as I do, aren't you, Mole? Time, the wind in the willows. 21, toss up. When writing the title of a book, all words should be capitalized except those that are articles, conjunctions, or what other part of speech? J.C. Burkhead, Johnson. Prepositions. Correct. 22 bonus, name the toxic saliva of asps, coral snakes, mambas, and rattlers. Poison. Incorrect, Captain. Venom. Correct. 23 toss up, what is the northernmost U.S. state that borders on Mexico? G.C. Burkhead, Nest Bomber. Texas. Incorrect. Vine Grove, Elms. Florida. Incorrect, California. 24, toss up. A performing space for dramatic work surrounded on all sides by the audience in tiered seating is a theater in the what? Vine Grove, Tremor. Audio room? Incorrect. Time, round. 25 toss up. Igor sold 413 kittens one weekend. He sold 171 on Sunday. How many did he sell on Saturday? Vine Grove, view. 242. Correct. 26 bonus. What character created by L. Frank Baum says this? Once I had brains and a heart also, so having tried both, I should much rather have a heart. The Scarecrow? Incorrect, Captain. Tin Man? Correct. <laughs> 27, toss up. What is the quotient when 66,822 is divided by 74? Time, 903. 28 toss up. A flood of moving lava is called a lava what? Vine Grove Elms. Pool. Incorrect. GC Burkhead, Nest Bomber. Slide. Incorrect. Flow. 29 toss up. The snap is one inch to 20 miles. How many miles are represented on the map by two and one half inches? Vine Grove View. 30. 
Incorrect. G.C. Burkhead, Kimberlin. 45. Incorrect. 50. 30. Toss-up. There is a work by Emanuel Loitza depicting many small overloaded boats crossing a turbulent river. Standing in the lead boat is a general destined to become president. Name this paint. Name the painting. G.C. Burkhead, Craig. Washington on Delaware? Incorrect. <laughs> Washington crossing the Delaware. And that is the end of the match, and the final score is G.C. Burkhead 17, Vine Grove 18. Congratulations to the winning team and to both teams for an excellent competition. Join us for our next Wiz Kids competition.